my, my father had told me that the sun rises with poverty. Mm. If mm. it finds you in the house, mm. <laughs> poverty has found you. It has really and remember fallen. I told you, mm-hmm. I felt the pangs of poverty all my childhood. Mm-hmm. The pangs. Mm-hmm. Being at the bottom of society. Mm-hmm. Like waiting for crumbs to fall from mm-hmm. the wealthy. Mm-hmm. Being sent to who and who and borrow hunger. God borrow this too. And you know the humiliation of having to explain in secret. Hello everybody, welcome to our station today. We are so glad to have you back with us and of course to always converse with you, engage with you and begin to understand the needs that are there in this current generation. My name is Martha and this is Decoding the Process. I am so glad to be here with you today and of course with us we have a very very amazing guest who's going to um, of course introduce himself shortly after this and I'm so happy that he's here today with us once again. Karibu sana Benjamin. Asante. Yes, so how have you been? Been good. Mm -hmm. Happy to be talking about this generation. Wow. So I think there is one thing that um, really outstands about you. You really want to get to, to really get a clearer view. You seem to have a passion towards awakening the souls of people and bringing back sense to this current generation because people seem to have actually lost the real real sense of direction into what matters most and they are failing in so many things. So tell us more about what really drives the sense of you being able to speak to the generation, matters relationships, and of course, um, what is one thing you would want these people to actually get out of your conversations? What runs in my veins, what causes in my veins Mm -hmm. is the mass wastage of potential. Mm -hmm among our people, among mm-hmm. the young generation. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm, I'm disappointed. I'm, why are we behind in the world economically? Mm-hmm. Yeah. You're being called to that world. And mm-hmm. who is the second world? By mm-hmm. the? <laughs> it's only first in that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so we yeah. are behind mm-hmm. and yet we are strong. We are even yeah. more, we have more natural resources. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I thought it was governments, surely governments have a place, a role to play. Mm-hmm. But when I came to the individual, mm-hmm. I realized that families are poor because their people are wasting their potential. Yeah. Individually, we have no money, we have no place in the economy, we don't impact on that because we are dependent on other mm-hmm. people. And the problems are beginning in the early stages and now we run our lives thereafter. Mm-hmm. It's like, uh, and I noticed a funny thing, I sent somebody, that the next time you pass through slums mm-hmm. and places that have no in poverty areas, yeah. not so many children and pregnant mothers. Mm. <laughs> so mm-hmm. I found a funny correlation <laughs> yeah. between poverty and, and excessive, excessive procreation. Yeah, reproducing <laughs> okay. like it. The same way mm-hmm. we grew up hearing as if marriage was the ultimate achievement. Yeah, <laughs> you know. Yeah. And somebody would start bragging after class eight. Uh, meaning that they are the meaning baby, ni kona mto kopi, ni wako na anga ni mekuacha. No, yeah. competition was about babies and wives and and, and, and the person is saying I have a baby they, they look miserable. Mm. All right? They, 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 they would age quickly. These mm-hmm. girls who rush to marry they look yeah. older, way older, and they yes. want to inflict you with guilt for not greeting yeah. them. And you can't recognize them. Mm. You know whether it's the the lady or the mother. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so, mm. so I noticed a correlation. There was overemphasis mm-hmm. on marriages and progression yeah. over personal development. Over, personal development. over the West there, if I ask you a simple question. Mm-hmm. Who is the innovator of Facebook? Akoras, mm-hmm. Zuckerberg. Yeah. How many children does Zuckerberg have? Apparently, you don't know, neither do I. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know his wife. Because yeah. that's not what he impacted the world with. Yes. Again, True. the guy invented Facebook while experimenting in the university. Yeah. yeah. What are our kids doing in the university? Living together, getting mm. babies, getting pregnant. Mm-hmm. Martin is adding the poverty driving. they left at home. Mm-hmm. There's no Latin at home. And this idiot gets mm-hmm. pregnant, takes another kid home. Your parents are all, almost barely managed to get yeah. you here. Yeah. <laughs> So, mm-hmm. what pains me mm-hmm. is the reverse way in which we are cultured. Yeah. We ignore personal power. Now, another problem, our women, our mothers, mm-hmm. the, the previous generation became nothing. Mm-hmm. The best were teachers. Mm-hmm. The best were P1 teachers. Mm-hmm. The rest just... <laughs> and yet, while selling the kiosk, they still had to educate their children. Mm-hmm. While vetting water on their back. And poverty became so normal mm-hmm. that today people still are saying women should get married first. Mm. To this day, people That's are telling true. this generation mm. to marry the way their mothers married at 18. Very, very get three children. Right. Get children when you are so that they grow. You are you are you are. <laughs> Those who did it, how far did they go? No. And our mother who made career with yes. <laughs> mm-hmm. 11 children. Eight children. <laughs> <laughs> 
think we need an extinguisher to this day. So, to this day, they still to make you behave like your mother. Yes. But, but I keep asking them, it's okay, it's mm. okay, but can we balance our lives? Yeah. You have the right to get married, of course, mm. you want to enjoy a relationship. But I've seen how, have you seen how much, how much misery there is in that marriage when you are powerless? Yeah. When you don't have a coin. Mm. When you have no control mm. of your enterprise. Yeah. When the dreams you were born with was squashed because mm -hmm. you married an insecure man when you were 20. Yeah. When you had dreams of being a singer and I taught people to simply look around. I said, what I'm saying is obvious only that you want to see it. Yeah. Look at the women of influence society. They're divorcees. Yes. <laughs> Never got married. Yes. Majority of influential women had to give up the marriage. Yeah. Because women were told, stay married. And they were mm. put in very small marriages. You understand? Mm. Mm. We have a small, few, a smaller number like mm -hmm. the late Jewish Labos. So women who had men who let them fly. Mm. All right? We have a few mm. men. Mm -hmm. But the majority in the village yeah. <coughs> mm. go back home, check around. Yeah. Women were put in very small places. Mm. And then they were burdened with childbearing because mm -hmm. the society was patriarchal, male dominated. Mm. I keep, and it's not only women who were affected, but they were the large, the, the, the empowering the girls that movement came around mm. trying to answer that problem. Mm. But today, even we men, you are hearing a, a great hue and cry yeah. of a boy child. Mm. This is a little mass wastage. Mm. Why? Drugs. Men yeah. don't congregate in good places. Women have table banking. Chama. Mm. <laughs> women are congregating in positive meetings. Mm. All right? Forget about the gossip they do in salons. Mm. Women have higher associative abilities. Mm. So the girl, and I ask people, they keep crying about boy child. I ask them on a typical day, what is, what is happening in the family? Mm. By 7 p.m., the mother and the chicken and the girls are at home. <laughs> Paul, I the chicken there because... <laughs> It's a woman put in the back. Yeah. <laughs> well, think of them. Now you're yeah. <laughs> They can't sleep in the dark. So, mm. the chores at home, you know, so the mother and the girl are running the home, making mm. supper, doing this, washing the kitchen. Mm. Where is the father? Somewhere there with the boys in the club. If mm. the church type in fellowship, mm. if you're working type in meetings. Mm. And where is the boy anywhere? Playing computer with the other boy. Mm. He's strolling home at 9 p.m. <laughs> and looks no more for boys to meander around because the bigger boy anyway is also yeah. outside. <laughs> it's difficult for mother to impose the rule and the bigger mm. boy is outside the rules. Yeah. <laughs> All mm. right? Mm. So on a typical day, the girl is being mentally connected with mm. the mother. Mm. The boy is meandering and lost and the father is disconnected. Mm -hmm. After 20 years of this girl being under authority, coached, shown of Roma, and the boy being discoordinated elsewhere, lost, confused, will they be in the same place? He won't. Thank you. Mm -hmm. So by the time the girl is 25, the boy is 25, mm. she's 10 years ahead of him in thinking. Yeah. Yeah. That's why you keep hearing this problem. Oh, my age mate boys are talking childish. Mm. <laughs> so we try to we try to cover the shame of the boy by saying biologically, you know the girls grow quickly because yeah. of childbearing. Yeah. <laughs> we try to make it palatable, but mm. in reality, girls are more open to coaching. In girls' schools, you have a mother figure. You remember that? Mm -hmm. yeah. Form three, adopting yeah. a form one is a yes, <laughs> daughter. Yeah. Mm. Do you have that in boys? No, mm -hmm. boys only bully. Yes. So the girls mentor and the hurry. <laughs> And grow any man. Yes. So the harassment, the mm. bullying is what is more common among boys. Yeah. While the girls is more about the coaching. It's yeah. more about the, so so this, what we are having today is mass wasted of potential. If you told me if I I keep telling it's okay, let's remove corruption in mm. systems because it's actually the waste of potential. Mm -hmm. It's okay, let's work with a systemic problem. Mm -hmm. But the individual problem is more to, it's yeah. more to blame. Mm -hmm. The government is depending on taxes, but mm -hmm. what tax do we pay if we are poor, mm -hmm. if we are earning nothing? Yeah. We are having graduates from university who are what begging for employment. Employ me. To be employed by who? Mm -hmm. Statistically, 75% of us, mm -hmm. 35 and below, we are the majority in this country. Yeah. So if you're also 25 like me, 28 like me, and you're saying to be employed, by who? By your colleague. Mm -hmm. <laughs> exactly. Mm -hmm. And you're not saying being employed is bad. We are saying you should have uh, developed to a level that you can either initiate yes. your... Yeah. Or I, we partner instead of you asking me for a job, mm. tell me uh, there's some angle I can bring. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Send me on. Mm. I'll, I'll, I will expand this. Mm. So the, the, the thing, the thing I've noticed, and the way I'm so passionate is because we are wasting for marrying at the wrong time, mm -hmm. marrying the wrong people, mm -hmm. expecting marriage to answer problems mm -hmm. of life, yeah. expecting it to give us identity, mm -hmm. expecting being married to give you happiness, expecting you as a woman, your identity as a man will come from the man you married, mm -hmm. expecting that your problems will suddenly be solved when you're called mm. Mrs. So, so it's a fallacy, it's yeah, wrong. It's a in the West, although there's a lot of mass divorce in the West because they, yeah. they allow children to get married. Yeah. 
the problem is open. Mm. <laughs> Only that you don't acknowledge it. But I keep telling Africans, the girl, in, the wazungu, they keep saying, this is my fifth marriage. Oh, that's normal there. Yeah, very <laughs> normal. <laughs> Because like she started marrying at 19. Yeah. <laughs> because she knew, she knew where she was going. Mm-hmm. 23, the second one, 30, the third, 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 third. But they have inheritance and money and allowance every month and a car. And yeah. That girl can process heartbreak without worrying about landlord. Yeah. You're here elsewhere. <laughs> <laughs> so our situation here is worse. Uh, I keep telling us, we who are behind economically, we already have other battles to fight. Yeah, true. We, we, don't have, we cannot afford five marriages. Yeah, yeah, and you can't afford starting on the footing of thinking that marriage is a destination. Exactly. First, really declutter all the situations around you. Once you're ready to really, you know, encounter responsibility and begin to even have all and these things, go ahead. And now you marry a person equally on the Yes, moment. exactly. The moment I decided, I determined I wanted to become a psychologist, although mm-hmm. my first degree was low, I could not marry anyone. Yeah. Before I find my identity. Mm. When I had established my master's in psychology, I was already doing counseling and life coaching. Mm-hmm. Now I can tell a lady, Ma, I want to become a global speaker. Come yeah. join me, help me in this. Yes. So don't date a guy who cannot give you the job description you're yeah. coming to play in his mm. life. He, if he can't tell you where he's going, he doesn't know where yes. he's going. Yeah. You're, you're teaming up with a lost person and mm. you will feel lost. Many mm. women are feeling lost because mm-hmm. they're, they're parking behind a parked car. They wanted to assist a driver who's already switched off mm-hmm. the engine. <laughs> so yeah. many women came with energy to assist, but they did not check whether the person they're married. Mm. Is on the move. Yeah. They just wanted to know whether he's employed. Mm. Whether he's a car. Yeah. And many of our parents for coming from that poverty mindset, they mm. push the daughters to marry rich men. Yeah. Thinking money is everything. Yeah. So, some men inherited money or they made some, you see when you are poor, anybody who has a car is rich. Yeah. <laughs> when mm. you evolve, you realize some people have cars and they're in loans. Yeah. In debt. Yeah. <laughs> many of them are poor financially mis- they're not yeah, even liquid. True. They are on a decline. Mm-hmm. They are plateaued for the last mm-hmm. so many years. A leaking tongue. But if you are mm. second year investor, you think, yeah, my boyfriend drives a car. Mm-hmm. Only to realize five years down the line, you're better than him. Yeah. Ten years down the line, you move faster. Your energy, you're more, you're more requisite. You want to achieve more. You're yeah. more driven. You're mm. more. But when you're under 25, your energies, your personalities in development is this guy is hidden. Even yeah. if you can't see it. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody looks like they're ahead of you. Mm-hmm. But your zeal, your drive. So I tell them, if only you wait and I ask them, even if you don't listen to me, talk to other girls who are 28, yeah. 30, mm-hmm. 35. Tell them the transition that happened between 22 to 27. Pick just up 23, 20, mm-hmm. just that period. Mm-hmm. They tell you it's like I woke up from sleep. Mm-hmm. So I tell them there's a shift in thinking that is on its way. Mm-hmm. Don't commit to anything before it arrives. Yeah. Don't yeah. commit. Mm-hmm. Wait until you know the pace of life mm. you want, the lifestyle you want, the yeah. pace you want. So mm. my passion is to help us individually actualize our potentials, change, solve a problem in society. Like the MPESA, we have one innovation, mm. mobile money in Kenya, mm-hmm. moved the economy forward. Mm. Other guys built on it, of course, mm-hmm. but the guy innovate, the innovation of Zuckerberg on Facebook, how mm. many generators, how much it has, how yeah, many employment, so you know. Many. If every one of us try to make their calling mm-hmm. a small empire, yeah. The employment, the employment problem will disappear. Will disappear. Yeah, and that's very true. So marriage is is like a job. Actually, um, find the right person for it when that time comes. But before then, do a lot of preparation. Even before you get to the job arena, exactly. you go to school, mm-hmm. you go for practice for exactly. many years. So there's a lot you do before really that time. So many of us are not even preparing before that time comes. We exactly. are busy jumping into marriage and we have never gone through the preparation. So I think um, we can now skip over to the other side. Where um, um, now, apart from us really understanding where we come from and now beginning to grow into the places we need to be and understanding now we can do relationships. So how is the growth curve from where you now begin to understand yourself to where you begin seeing the need for, for growth, then you establish yourself and you can now get into relationships and begin to, you know, of course, invest in that stage one start thinking about your future the trajectory of your future mm-hmm. you start thinking soberly when you finish from from for most of us mm-hmm. after secondary school that's when you begin to see the world mm. thinking about some people go to college others use another trajectory of apprenticeship mm. they go to become a mechanic direct mm-hmm. they go to become a carpenter direct they mm-hmm. learn well on the job they're studying here and that's a very legitimate path mm-hmm. many of us have come to think intelligence is about theories and books 
mm-hmm. there are people who are very business oriented yeah. they were he couldn't wait to join the business of selling motorcycles mm. there's no point of wasting five years of him teaching mm-hmm. him the b- b- bachelor of business management mm-hmm. and he has an uncle a guy who he can learn while he's doing he, he needs some paper to know the system mm-hmm. so he's learning even in class a diploma yeah. or something mm-hmm. while during the day he's on the job itself that's a very healthy way of learning once you realize you're not book oriented mm-hmm. this is not laziness mm-hmm. some people are neither here nor there and they try to say <laughs> it's not a mass. No, yeah, yeah. <laughs> apprenticeship actually is what preceded universities mm-hmm. before universities people would learn on the job mm-hmm. so even today you can learn on, on the, the job, job. All right? mm-hmm. but because you also need to know how the system works yeah. let's say you're, you're moving from what you study to journalism mm-hmm. you'll be attending shows here and this getting this and stuff but what are you doing by say youtube mm-hmm. checking structures mm-hmm. presentation mm-hmm. method your mm-hmm. theory has a place yeah. so the guy who is spending the whole chunk of his time in business he also wanted to get in, ca- in case you want to know what the theory what are the principles mm-hmm. what are all right mm-hmm. so the thing is once you finish from four and you, the first thing to think is not boyfriend or mm-hmm. moving or mm-hmm. baby or madness yes. oh my god <laughs> <laughs> makes me sick yeah. from falling i said i'm making just after from four can you stop can you stop writing madness in my <laughs> box <laughs> so i'm gonna keep telling them even if there were no teachers i regret i'm sorry we apologize there were nobody like me shouting in the public yeah. space mm-hmm. there should be a noise maker in the public space mm-hmm. <laughs> saying something yeah. so that even those who don't listen this guy was saying what was he saying yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. they had no idea they were yeah. just doing guesswork mm-hmm. but i do you notice that those who wanted to have freedom in their life yeah. money is about freedom mm-hmm. yeah. <laughs> money is not about luxury mm-hmm. the, the, the poor think money is luxury mm-hmm. they think car is prestige mm-hmm. as you have all what yeah. have you realized absolute freedom. necessity mm-hmm. <laughs> having your car mm-hmm. having a good house yeah. having absolute necessity i tell you tell them we work hard not so that we can live hey, holiday hawaii hawaii yeah. is have their place surely <laughs> but we live so that we can live live on our own yeah. house eat when i want exactly. eat when i want yeah. go ahead mm-hmm. move when i want yeah i want we are looking for control freedom we're looking for to have di- control of the direction of our lives yes. that's why we need money we need to be our own manager so after i finish from four that instinct should mm-hmm. be there mm-hmm. how would i be in five years like be able to wear the clothes i want mm-hmm. that is the thought of any yeah. sane person yes exactly <laughs> all right yeah now there's some idiot girls who think let me get married to a rich guy some boys who want let me get a rich Shortcuts, woman yeah when you look for shortcuts you end up being cut short yes I want you to accept the principles in life that there's nothing that comes easy. Yeah. Everything true. is slow and grinding. Yeah. Anybody promising shoo, sudden mm-hmm. transformation is a lie. It's a yeah. trap. They want to take away the little mm-hmm. you have. All right? Mm-hmm. So the the thing is once you become independent you are not under your parents anymore. Think uh, force your mind to to go above the circumstances mm-hmm. where you want to be 10 years from now. Yeah. Actually lay down a strategy and even if it's just a rough strategy how spent four years in school after that or do this after that or do this mm-hmm. how to be a general so go study then that mm-hmm. I'm, I'm not sure whether I want to be a farmer or let me find out you, I, I tell them to spend a month or two exploring mm-hmm. what to study in university all right mm-hmm. so after you've established a rough draft mm-hmm. of the path of your life mm-hmm. a rough draft to finally get financial freedom if you don't think about financial freedom you remain a slave for yeah life. very true Let, let's redefine poverty mm-hmm. financial slavery mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> poverty yeah total lack of control mm. vulnerable total lack mm-hmm. vulnerable to lacking food yeah vulnerable to boot licking to begging mm. don't you see the humiliation of an adult wearing a torn cloth yeah don't you see the utter shame very, of a father having to say to copesh to mm. japan to mm. <laughs> and they would send you to go and borrow in the shop That's and true. then you have to wait for the customers to go that told me you give me a new paper tell him he has not paid yesterday <laughs> <laughs> Hey, very it's shameful. Really. I felt it. Mm-hmm. One reason that is because I don't risk, not to risk falling mm-hmm. back there. <laughs> That's why I, I tell people. Some people came from wealthy. Of course, some people found their parents were being organized. Yeah. Wealth doesn't come automatically. Yeah, yeah. Somebody worked for it. Mm-hmm. If it was grandfather worked mm-hmm. and you grew up into some mm, level of comfort, mm-hmm. I understand you, but I cannot relate to your world because I was never there. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Let me yeah. talk to the mass. That mm-hmm. world, yeah. we are the bigger ones. Yeah. <laughs> this is a group yeah, very, very, <laughs> very many yeah. and it gives us comfort it's not a shame for yeah. in america poverty uh-huh. is not common so if you discuss poverty okay you yeah, say so you lack like what okay are you in government how do you about? even lack so <laughs> well i'm sorry mm. <laughs> so here we can commiserate yeah. in the fact that we understand it yeah. but this is what i tell them mm-hmm. if you fe- if you felt the pangs mm. of not, not having enough food mm. not having being chased home for yeah. two years 
How do you even? Huh? Risk going back is, to the same. Mora, you don't need a motivational speaker. Yeah, you don't. <laughs> you do not. That itself should bring for exactly. you forth to you know doing so greater think, things. When I remember how we do not have cooking oil, mm. how we could not get you had to eat maize alone. People, mm. there are some meals which have no names really. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's not you know, you know, you know, you know something. Yeah. Ugali mm. and the accompaniment of ugali is is, is uji. Mm. <laughs> Imagine! I've seen poverty, the pans of poverty. You're so hungry the whole day, you are hoping that mm. mom gets food. When I remember that alone, yeah. that is enough motivation. Enough. I don't need to be clapped. Hey, are you are doing that? By who? <laughs> the guy I'm running away from yes. is enough. enough. <laughs> so they say, when, when an antelope, when a lion is running after the antelope, mm -hmm. the antelope is running to save its life. Mm. The lion is running for food. They are not yes. in the same place. They are not in the same place. <laughs> Very different. <laughs> so mm. I keep telling them I am the antelope. Yeah. <laughs> mm. I am, must save my life. Yeah, yeah. And what, when you talk next time about a regional, when you are poor like Africa, you are so exploited by the other guys yeah. because you, you need them for loans, for whatever, mm. and you give them on their terms. Mm -hmm. The same way individually, when you're on the receiving end, mm -hmm. you're always being given money for salon money. You are the mercy. Yeah. And they make, remember the, do you remember the, the, the conglomeration of disappointment, delayed frustration, when you're waiting for somebody to send money and you're sitting there waiting? The person that's you call again. <laughs> do you know the thing? Talk very bad. <laughs> you have said you don't want to call too much, and again, you still want the money. We boarded a matatu with some brethren after finishing pre preaching, and we had to look for fair while we're in the matatu. <laughs> because it was the last matatu, night is falling, we are far away from Nairobi. <laughs> We don't have money. Yeah. Don't come back. We'll pay you along the way. Okay. <laughs> but he's looking at us suspiciously. He's actually sitting squarely looking. <laughs> oh, well. We are calling this one. I don't have. We are calling this one. Let mm. me check. This is the well. anxiety. The frost. Oh my God. For me, that's enough. Like, yeah. <laughs> Too much. That enough. keeps me at. I can't sleep past 4 a.m. I think poverty will find me there. Yeah. So I just exactly. have nothing exactly. to do. So mm. one reason I ask them to plan our lives is knowing the pit we are coming from. Yeah. The child of Donald Trump, uh, Obama, they're mm. born at sea level at least. They're given mm. a level playing ground to compete mm -hmm. in the world. Since we are being born 20 feet yeah. negative, mm -hmm. below. Mm -hmm. So if mm -hmm. we are doing a, mm -hmm. a high jump and yes. I'm jumping from the pit while we are jumping from a mountain, we are mm -hmm. not in the same place. Oh, of course. Very so I keep different. telling them, although I am ambitious and I don't want to discourage you, mm -hmm. I just want to tell you the reality that most of the kids from Canada from are ahead of you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. Yeah, yeah. Government gives them minimum uh, support yeah. <laughs> to make sure they don't fall below. Mm -hmm. <laughs> us here, we support the government. Exactly. They don't support us. There, parents give inheritance. Here, yeah. We, yeah. <laughs> we give with yeah, the parents. Right <laughs> so, so, some of us, when you're the first pioneer, you have to first send the money backwards yeah. before you can invest you can into the future exactly. and the stock. <laughs> the child abroad, there with the, even if the parents don't give you a lot of money, but they don't ask anything from you, mm -hmm. at least you have a place to play in the world. Mm -hmm. So, I tell us one reason we must think is because of what we, where we're coming yeah. from slavery. You can't there are some guys who fought slavery and colonialism, mm -hmm. practically, somebody having a gun over them. Mm -hmm. Today, the, the, the master, the oppressor is financial deprivation. Yeah. Today, yeah. the oppressor is more lacking fair, and you have yeah. to walk home and God. I remember the life in campus. Mm. You only have so much to work with. And the one you are depending on is also being depended yeah. on by many people. Yeah. And you have to walk. The number of times I walked between Nairobi University and mm. town. That, the, the walk itself, Mona. Mm. The walk. But I remember it and I feel chills. <laughs> Yeah. It's sunny, it can even start raining, yeah. there's tear gas, the mm. police are running after who mm. you are caught in their mayhem. Yeah. And oh my god, I kept shaking my head. God give me a chance. I was just looking for a clear ground to mm -hmm. run. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, yeah. today I found it. That's yeah. why I'm restless. Mm -hmm. Me, I usually run until I drop. I work until the energy is totally gone. Mm. Then I rest a little bit, yeah. I wake up Very again. True. And I want to warn as many. Let, uh, because many of them can feel the problem, but they don't mm -hmm. know the solution. So yeah. solution number one is take charge of the direction yeah. of your life. Mm -hmm. Have a draft plan. Mm -hmm. What you want to become are the steps to get you there. Mm -hmm. The next thing is start implementing mm -hmm. it with a touch of madness. Mm -hmm. Morale there's no greatness when you are calm and yeah. cool, collected and polite. Praise the Lord, I'm just waiting on Jesus. <laughs> 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 Of course not. <laughs> oh, champions. Yeah. And that grit. You yes. don't hear Kipchoge say, I was not even expecting to do it. God surprised me with it. No way. No way. 
No <laughs> way. So if you want to be anything great, establish yeah. a new, you must have this drive that is visible. Yes. I don't want you to tell me what you believe in. Mm -hmm. I should see a sign. Yeah, you should. There's an energy to mm -hmm. I should see how precise you are with time. Mm. How I, they used to give me jobs that are not being paid and I will arrive ahead of everyone. The yes. moment they started counseling, they, they had to give me the key to the counseling center. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> because I'm always the first one. Even when I have no client, wow. I just my, my father had told me that the sun rises with poverty. Mm. If it finds in the house, mm. <laughs> poverty has found it. Has really and remember, fallen. I told you, mm -hmm. I felt the pangs of poverty all my childhood. Mm -hmm. The pangs mm -hmm. being at the bottom of society, mm -hmm. like waiting for crumbs to fall from mm -hmm. the wealthy, mm -hmm. being sent to who and who and borrow hunger. God borrow this too. And you know the humiliation of having to explain in secret. Mm. And people ignoring you and snobbing you and the attitude. Mm. I saw it, but, and I saw, I saw, no, this you is not life the next day. Exactly. So, once you make a draft plan, start implementing mm. it with a touch of craziness. Yeah. If you get a chance to be in the university, cry, cry tears. Mm -hmm. Saying, God, I'm here. Thank you. Mm -hmm. You know the time I finish for one? I would finish for one, I thank God, and I, because I'm not, there was no fees. I'm mm. not even sure whether I'm going to the next class. Yeah. So, every time I finish first year university, I graduated. You should also have that gratitude that yeah. you're being granted the chance yeah. that others did not get. Mm. That alone should give you reverence yeah. that I should mess up with a generation, because I know the main generation mm. behind me. I don't want to drop the ball. Mm -hmm. Then they have to raise from the pit and mm. go through the humiliation I went through. Yeah. I want to pass my, I want to pass some starting capital to mm. my next generation to the third fourth. Mm -hmm. Grandpa left this, so he said, everybody being born here, you're being entitled to a property that's mm. worth a million, giving you 50k a month. Even if you do not work, now you're not afraid of sleeping hungry. Yeah. <laughs> no, and he said, no, that should be sold. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. You know? Yes, yes. I wish we were born to something like that. And because mm -hmm. I wish it, I want to make sure my grandchildren mm -hmm. find something like that. Mm -hmm. There's a family property. If you fall sick, you don't have to sell everything you have. The, the family assets will take yeah. care of. Mm -hmm. If you go to the university, uh, uh, the requirements are, you go to university abroad, they'll pay. But if it's local, your parent, you know, mm -hmm. something like that. That's how most, yes, yes. what I'm speaking sounds mm -hmm. uh, prestigious. But mm -hmm. that's how families operate. Mm -hmm. They yeah. take care of what is in the interest of the family. Yes, yes, yes. So if mm -hmm. you hear that this child belongs to us, although the mother left, and because of that, we are taking mm -hmm. care of When you get married, you all give a car and a house. You mm. know, something like that. Okay. <laughs> Not that you're married today and you have to worry. You know, we don't even go to honeymoon in Kenya. Let me tell you a secret. <laughs> <laughs> what normally happens? Can it be to give? We go physically. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and then? Mentally, you have to manage things. You can't oh, afford yeah. to lie down. Yeah. Things are... You keep, <laughs> yes. And you can't so, spend without minding. So here we live like, you know, the way the Nehemiah, they were building the wall. Mm. And one hand a weapon, mm. another one at work. Mm -hmm. That's how we live here. <laughs> Romantic, but also at work. Yes. <laughs> so yes. Because we eat too much romance, we'll be found here by trouble. Mm. So implement it with ruthlessness. Yes. The other thing is obey process. Don't marry before you feel ready. Your mother, some of those grandfathers are, are forcing you to marry at the time they married to mm. remain how they remain. They're prescribing to you the path they know. Yeah. And it is a path of doom. You have a potential they do not realize themselves. Yeah. You have a calling they do not wake up to. Mm. The calling in your day is very different from their day. Mm -hmm. Today you don't have a permission to say I'm a woman, I'll be taken care of. Mm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Those days, once cows were delivered, you are sold. Mm -hmm. <laughs> today, mm -hmm. we are colleagues building together. Mm -hmm. Today, many parents, I like the way they have become liberal. They're saying, we'll not force you as if we are selling the girl to you. Yeah. You guys are becoming a team. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Tell us what you can do. Yeah. We value the friendship. Mm -hmm. I found that kind of grace with my in yes. They said, you don't want a bad blood after this. You mm -hmm. took advantage at the time of your weakness. Yeah. And for that reason, I saw family, I saw friends, yes, I keep visiting, exactly. I keep going. Back. Mm -hmm. I feel these guys are really part of me. Mm -hmm. We are a team mm -hmm. working together. Because even that time, they don't try to exploit me. Mm -hmm. We are moving from that time where parents are thinking the children are wealth mm. and mm. so that if you show interest in the girl they have been waiting for the cows no mm. today parents are saying let me educate you so that you married an educated yes. person mm. because now you form a team and mm. go far when you are go when you go far i feel happy mm. so implement it and marry when you're ready mm. ready does not mean rich it means you have now marketable skill you have defined the yes. path of your career and mm. you can tell where you will be and where they will be mm -hmm. and whether you are malleable mm. yeah true wow take charge of your life implement with with energy and zeal and drive exactly. and of course obey the process that is amazing 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 and of course we had so much to discuss today and of course you can tell there's a lot zulu has for us um muki, muki behave zulu he will be back and i'm sure he he's always willing to of course impact this generation with the, the knowledge we have lacked for quite a long time the voices that haven't shown themselves for quite some time and we are glad to have had them 
even at this particular moment. Thank you very much, Benjamin. We were so, so amazed and glad to actually have you here with us today. Yeah, and a very big thanks to Monjari Properties Limited for being um, supportive to us in this show. We are glad for um, um, joining hands with us. And of course, this is a success and many young people out there are being impacted because of you joining hands with us and these talents to be able to bring out what is lacking out there in, the, in this generation. Thank you very much for joining us today. Wema TV on all social media platforms. Keep it this time every Tuesday. Welcome all the time and I'm glad to have had you. Thank you.